Hi everybody, welcome to our weekly horoscope. I am Twitch or Tara, whichever you want to call me here at Twitch's T Tarot. I am the founder and creator. So it is Wednesday, which means it is horoscope day. So I hope everybody had a awesome and safe, blessed weekend and is enjoying this beautiful weather. Um, tonight, I am letting you guys know I am going to be going live. I'm going to actually make an event. I'm going to be going live here on TikTok. Um, and I actually want to know if you guys want to do the book of answers or we should do individual reads. So, but we're just going to hop right in. So, with it being Horoscope Wednesday, drop your sign and we'll see what the lessons and blessings are for this week. Okay? If not, I am just going to go around the whole scope. So, and that's what it is. But tonight I will be going live on 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So... And then, yeah. So, yeah, book of answers or individual reads. You know what? Let's start with our cancers. 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 Oh, cancers. Holy crap. Step into your guys' energy, and there's, like, a lot of tension. There is a lot of tension going on this week. Let's see what the lessons and blessings are. What are the lessons and blessings for cancers this week? Lessons and blessings. <clears throat> all right cancers so this week you guys started off actually in a pretty good light um you felt like the energy was a little bit stagnant not gonna say that it's not it is a little bit of a stagnant energy for you this week and i feel like there's an issue going on with your pentacles or a person who is actually fluctuating with your pentacles okay um, let me know if that's resonating because I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I don't know if it's Mercury Gatorade, but like I feel so off, so freaking off these days. And I'm not getting feedback on my pages, which makes me feel really bad. But anyways, cancers. All right, so there's something going on with your pentacles and this choice card. You're feeling really freaking stagnant at the beginning of this week, okay? It's kind of like, well, what, you know? What choice is there? What choice am I going to be making? Like, how the hell is this going to work out? How is this going to happen? Because cancers, I feel like you guys are like the balancers in this situation. You guys are the ones who create the foundation and you really put a lot more on your plate than what you guys have been able to handle. And you're really working through it. And I think this week is very much so like, I'm not doing this anymore. I am tired of putting myself, my time, my energy, my money into this situation because justice is going to be served. You are no longer going to allow those things to happen by the end of this weekend. Um, I feel like over the weekend, honestly, I keep on hearing conversation. So I don't know if you guys are contemplating having this like boundary ass convo where you're like, bro, hot dog water vibes are not welcome here. I am good. We are not doing this. Um, because you're like, I'm not doing this. I am not your stepping stone. I am no longer going to put myself in this situation. I'm tired of the conflict. I'm tired of feeling defensive, tired of feeling so fucking defensive over this because I've stuck up for you. I've done these things. A, B, C, D, E, G. Like what the fuck, you know? Once you take that back, though, you're going back into it. Your pentacles, it's going to be a little bit stagnant still this week. There is no major movements other than the placement of boundaries and the possibility of this conversation. Okay? Because even the chariots in reverse, you got two choice cards and two movement cards that are suck that, that are sucked. That are stuck in this stagnant ass energy. Okay? Don't allow the immaturity to get the best of you, Cancers, because I feel like that is a big hindrance. That is the lesson this week, is not to let things go into the mindset for you guys. You guys have done so much work. You've brought in so much growth. you brought in the fruition. This is like the final step of the Gatorade for you guys, honestly, is really what I'm feeling for you. And this week, because it's in such a transitional week, June 2nd is when the Mercury Gatorade is over. Um, we just had a new moon as well, which is all about putting intentions, manifestations. And I feel like Cancer is something you could really rock this week. Write those things down on that piece of paper. Allow yourself to be like, yo, this is what I want for the month. You know, also, first tomorrow, blow some cinnamon in that doorway, Kansas. Let that prosperity just come right in, okay? 
But as far as this situation changing, no, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was fixing this motherfucking situation. But you can place those boundaries this week, okay, Cancers? And no more giving money is what I'm hearing. No more. No more. Oracle cards this week. I'm going to be doing the wisdom. I'm actually going to read them out of the book, which I never do, but I want to try something different. So, yep. So I got vision. That is such a pretty card. Let me find it in my book. I know. Sorry, guys. I'm like, you know, just crazy all over the place as usual. Okay. So you received a vision, which is Aphrodite. It says when you choose this symbol, it means that no matter what you lose your life, in your life, something better will replace it. It says one day in my house of night, there will be a young, beautiful vampire who will lose her mark, but gain a great vision into the future. Even if you, even if a loss feels devastating at the moment, you still have so much to gain. If your question is about the future, choose another card. The magical vision that you will receive here gives you the temporary power to see the future in a vast place, full of possibility and potential. And then this actually fell out with it, which I love. It's meditation, and it says your next card will provide insight into the conditions ahead of you to know what future is to be prepared. So meditation fell with that card. So I feel for you guys, Cancers, it is about taking that step back and allowing you to just, you got to flow to grow this week, Cancers. You got to flow to grow, okay? Stop giving your energy to somebody who doesn't want to change. That's really like the message I'm feeling for you guys this week. All right. Cancers. Cancers. We are D-O-N-E with the Cancers. I hope that that resonates for you guys and we will check the energy next week. All right. So if you are still with me, um, let's drop another sign. Let's see where we're at. Then if it does resonate, you know, and you guys dig my vibe, follow me here on the talk. If you like me more, go follow me over on my private group page on Facebook and I have a YouTube channel. So if I read your weekly horoscope, you guys can go watch the replay over on the tube. Okay? All right. Let's drop a sign. I am not doing individual readings, and I do not do pregnancy. So, all right. And then if you like me, you can share me out because I love doing this. These are all free. Let's do Geminis. Jemmy Gems. What is the lesson and blessing for Jemmys? What did I start with? I started with Cancer, and we're going to do Jimmy's. I know I have my handy-dandy notebook. I do. How is everybody doing? Sun hearts. I love you guys. Thank you all for joining me. All right, Gemini's. Oh, Gemini's, you are getting out of this mode. Ooh, Jemmy's. I feel by the end of the week, there's going to be a rebalance for you guys. This week has brought a lot of pain. A lot of pain and a lot of closure this week for you, Jemmy's. Um, I feel like there was a situation that was like a life alter. Um, I don't know why I keep on hearing loss. So it could be the loss of a home, loss of a person, um, loss of even confidence is really what I'm feeling as well. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do? There's a lot of anxieties at the beginning of this week. And it also, I also feel like it has to do with your guys' stability. Okay, so with the lack of stability you Jemmys are feeling this week, I feel like by the end of next weekend, like this weekend coming up, you're going to start seeing a balance again. There is going to be a resurgence, but it's about going into yourself. Even spirit saying, take the moment to heal. Yes, you have all those things, but right now is the time to re-energize yourself this week, Jemmys. There is a situation, like I said, that totally knocked you off kilter dude these cars are flying everywhere it's created a really confusing situation of where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do but the wheel of fortune is in your favor wheel of fortune is in your favor this week guys and it's all gonna be about allowing yourself to relax and going with the flow okay hey Aaron, how are you 
Because right now, even though you want this rebalance, you are totally feeling like you are not up to par this week, Jummies. There's a lot of things that are sideways, confidences, money, stability. There's a lot of things going on for you guys, Jummies. But just stay focused on the fact that you do have all those things. It will come into fruition. This was, even though this was a very huge loss in a life change situation, there will be a rebalancing and there's a rebirth of self in this. I have not done Saggy yet, but I can go next. You are on here. We're just going until we're done with the wheel. So I do, Jemmies, I feel like there is just that you need to be reminded. This is a rebirth. Allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to grow. Okay. But you know what? If you need to take a step back, shit, take a step back because you are just, you need to feel those emotions. There's a lot that is going on and it is okay. I just heard it's okay to cry. So if you are hiding behind that little box that y'all like to put yourself in at times, you know, because you guys are tough, but yet you guys are very stubborn in your own right. You're very, very stubborn. And I feel like this week, Spirit's even saying, don't allow those things to happen. Things are going to come into balance. They're going to allow these things to grow. But this week is about feeling and healing. It is. It ain't about going and growing because there is not much movement but there is going to be opportunity. Um, dealing with the money, because I don't know why this just keeps on popping out for me, is going to balance out. I just heard yes. So it is going to balance out. There must be something going I feel like there's something going on. Not even must be. I feel like there's something going on with litigations, which is something that I really don't discuss on, but Spirit is not leaving me alone about it. So if there's like some sort of paperwork going on or like, inheritance, legalities. It is going to work out. I just heard six. So it could take up to six weeks. Or you could be getting some sort of actual good notifications, things of that nature in June. But I keep on hearing six. Okay. Your guys' oracle card for the week, Jimmy's, is the beauty card. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So the beauty card for you guys. It says, every rose has its thorns, and the symbol of beauty reminds you that beauty is never perfect. Just as the beautiful experiences you will not be perfect, you will, you have will not be perfect forever. So it's about keeping a positive attitude and expecting those wonderful changes to happen. It's about that growth and about those things that are going to be coming to fruition. But right now, it's about embracing the beauty your beauty inside and out and know that it's just going to flow. But right now, heal. Heal, Jemmy's. Heal, heal, heal. Go take a drink. Don't deal with hot dog water vibes. Uh, go go have a cheesecake. Oh, Lord, go have a cheesecake. I mean, it just it just makes everything so much better. I love cheesecake. I love cheesecake. And you're not alone, Jemmy's. You are totally not alone. All right. Let's drop a sign. If you are here, hi, I'm Twitch or Tara. If you like me, follow me. That'd be awesome. If you like me more, follow me on the tube and on the Facebook. Both of my links are in bio. All right. Let's see. Drop a sign. But I'm not doing individual reads. I'll do individual reads tonight. Pisces. Ooh, Sagittarius. I want to do Saggy. We're going to do Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What are the lessons and blessings this week for our Saggy Sag? And then if you do not know, you can catch the replay over on YouTube if I've already done your sign. I have done Gemini and Cancer so far, and we are going to Sagittarius. I do not go in an order, just so y'all know, I go to the sign that I am drawn to. All right, Sagittarius, what is the lesson and blessing this week? So, oh my gosh. Okay, first off, Sagittarius, stop dealing with this immaturity. I don't know if it, it mm, I'm feeling like it's a little bit of both. I feel like it's a little bit of a mindset and it's a little bit of a person that is creating this mindset. It's like a trigger. It is like a trigger. There is a situation or a person that is triggering this immature ass energy. 
Um, I feel like it is a lot of like sideways comments. I feel like this has to do with kind of who you are and like your boundaries and your placements. Okay, that's really what I'm feeling for you guys, Sagittarius, this week. Um, I do feel like there is going to be some strength needed this week. Patience is something that I'm also hearing a lot of patience this week, Sagittarius, is because I feel like if you explode a situation, it's going to backfire. It's going to poke you in the ass, and you don't want that unless it's on a day that ends with one. Ha uh ha. -huh. But I do. I feel like this is really kind of messing with, like, the things that you have worked on in, in the past couple of weeks, months, years. Like, a lot of growth. Like, this individual or this situation is poking. And it's kind of like... This is a test this week for you guys, Sagittarius. It has all the growth. Really, this is your moment for it to come into fruition. All that practice of patience and just understanding people are just going to be the dog and shit on somebody else's yard sometimes. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. And I feel like that is a huge test for you guys this week, Sagittarius. Is because after that boundary is placed, you're letting guard down. You're going to just be like, listen, I said what I said and that's what it is. That is, that is just what it is, and I am just going to keep on going this week. There's a little bit of moments of defensiveness, too. I kind of feel like that's coming over the weekend. If somebody says something, don't lash. Just ask them, yo, is that what it's about? If they cannot figure out the fact that you're just having a conversation, then it ain't worth your energy this week, Saggies. It's not all that growth, all that progress. Oh, no, 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 no. Because you, you're, you're hiding. You're hiding into the weekend with a new balance and new creativeness. And honestly, I think if you if you got plans this weekend, it's gonna go, it's gonna rock, it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna have fun, and you got all those resources. Even if you're feeling a little tight here on Wednesday, by Friday or Saturday, it's all gonna flow. You're gonna be able to go out, have that fun. I just heard boat trips, so some of y'all might be going to enjoy the water, which will be nice. Oh my lord, that would be nice. But I do, I feel like there's a lot this week about testing patience, maintaining that strength, allowing those things to go into balance. Don't worry too much about the pentacles because the pentacles are coming. Go out and enjoy yourself. Don't let anxieties get the best of you. All right, by the end of the weekend, because I have a feeling like when this is, yeah. If you allow those things to come and I just, because we got the tower card, we got the tower, Saggies. If you allow this situation to get the best of you, this is coming for you by the end of the week. This is coming. You don't want that tower moment. You know that you don't want that tower moment. You ain't about trying to rebuild more shit. Even though the tower moment can be a beautiful disaster, you just, if it is, it's going to be short, sweet, simple. Draw again. Okay. Yeah, because it's, go it's going in as quick as it's going out. Don't let it dwell, Saggies. Do not let it dwell this week. You got this. Get out of your freaking head if you are, if you're about to embrace this new project. This is about growth. All right? This is about progress. You're about to go up to the next level financially as well. I know that money has been tight for Saggies, but I feel like this week is about to turn. It is about to turn. Fragment. You got the Oracle card Fragment this week, Saggies. Fragment. What do you guys think about these oracle cards? I'm not used to like doing them, like re actually reading. I usually do like all intuitive. It says, sometimes it seems that life is split into so many parts. All of them separate and difficult to bring together. It says it can all seem unrelated to each other. You know, it's always about the whole. And even though sometimes it's going to feel fragmented this week and separate, it's only an illusion. Don't allow... The shit to fucking overflow. Keep that patience is what I keep on hearing. I'm going to read a little bit of it, but then it goes straight to intuitive. So I'm going to go with that. All right, Saggies. That is what I have for you for the week. Yeah, immature, immature. Don't, don't let, don't, don't let that, don't, don't let it poke ya. Don't let it poke ya. All right. Who do we have next? If you are here with me, drop a sign and I will read it if I have not read it already. And I hope everybody's doing well. Throw out those hearts if you like me. If you like me more, follow. If I've already read your sign, you can totally, totally check the tube. 
Let's do Leo's. All right, Leo's. 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 Y'all confused in your head. Oh, God. Bless it. It's about love. It's about love. Somebody has got it all. Like, somebody's got it. Somebody's got the Eevees, the feelies, the creepy crawlers. And somebody is totally messing with the mind and the heart. So somebody is totally messing with the mind and the heart this week. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my. Really? Stop. Stop it. Leo's. trying out a new spread too so it's one that I've created so I'm just doing a whole bunch of stuff I just love my life right now I love all of you guys I love my TikTok fam and I love doing these weekly horoscopes all right Leo's Jeebus holy crap okay so the beginning of the week Leo's you guys have been stuck in your head and heart space I don't know if there was a situation that has made you feel just like I don't know if I should give myself. There was a conversation that should have been had and it could have really went sideways, honestly. Ryan H, stop messaging me. Sorry, I got totally distracted. See, Leo's, I feel like that's your guys' energy too. See, I just totally blanked out. I have not done that with any other horoscope except for my Leo's, okay? The Leo's, beginning of this week, man. You all have felt this anxiety like the world has stood still. There are no options. Like, why did this conversation go sideways? Why did the fucking water overflow? Like, there is something going on. Why do I have my pen? Because y'all are antsy, Leos. Y'all all are motherfucking antsy, okay? I'm sorry. Like, this is dealing with your stability. This is dealing with the person. This is, like, you walk... Because you are intuitively feeling that somebody is bullshitting the bullshitter. And I'll tell you what. You ain't, you ain't far off. You are not far off. And I feel like this has to do with love. I feel like a lot of effort has been dealt with in a situation when it comes to love. And to be honest, these lines are kind of shadowed. What I mean by that is like, it seems like this person is right here on this level with you as far as this relationship, blase, blase. You know, the, the sucking the fucking's good. Like, y'all are clicking, everything else. And then all of a sudden, I feel like this individual or this person totally either goes cold or acts funky. Like, hot dog water vibes. Funky. Like, what? Really? Like, we were good, like, 12 hours ago. Or it's, like, a reminder of, like, oh, well, we're not that serious. <laughs> like, I do, and I feel like you're going to call them out. Like, yo, we could have had this conversation. I'm not going to put all my efforts into it. I'm trying to flow. But right now, I in my heart space, even though I am good on the outside, and I'm like, <laughs> on the inside, I'm going, oh, my God. It, when's the other shoe gonna drop I am trying so hard to stay in the moment and this is bullshit because I just I feel like this is this and this is that and there is just a whole situation going on because I feel by the end of the weekend there could be some sort of conflict somebody might not be in the mood to want to feel heard and they're not going to look I feel like it's the other person I don't feel like it's you this week Leo's I really don't I feel like it's because you put your foot down and you're like okay you didn't chase and that's a big thing that I keep on hearing with you, Leo's. You didn't chase. It was all about, okay, you feel that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, I'm not going to let my heart space get more screwed up than what it was on Monday. Because today is a good day and it's Sunday. And I'm not going to deal with this shit. I'm releasing these anxieties. If you want to have conflict, go have conflict with yourself. It's something that I'm truly feeling. That you are, like, going to be... Yeah. Because you're taking it back. You want this. Yes, I did. You cancer. But you do. You are totally in this mindset of like, I want my son. I'm not trying to deal with this. If the conversation goes south, just, you know what? Let it be what it is. You are not going to change somebody's mindset. And that's something that, and it's kind of like, okay. Mm-hmm. Pentacles this week. Look at your pentacles. Save. Do not frivolously spend is what I keep on hearing. Also, Leah. Leah. Why did I say that? Holy crap. Leo's. Sorry, there must be a spirit here with Leo. 
I very rarely say names, but I'm in awakening right now, and like there's just so much going on. Oh, I cannot wait to share with all you guys. I so cannot wait. So that is what I have for you guys this week, Leos. I'm going straight to it so I don't have to waste anybody's time. The oracle card for this week, you guys got differences. It says, choosing a symbol for differences asks you to accept that you will not always agree with everyone and they might not always agree with you. you know, it says that your guys have seen many things since the beginning and know that there's in intricate differences between all beings that are sacred and good. And that you need to learn to accept others that are not the same as you. It's important to allow others to express their own opinions. Consider the difference between an orange and an apple. Both are fruit. Both are sweet. Both are unique. Remember what I said about walking away? You can't change other people's perspectives. Even your guides. Like, yo, keep it, keep it for you and only you. I love this new spread, by the way. I hope you guys are enjoying these. And I am so excited that you guys are here. Thank you so much. I have an announcement that I will be making um, tomorrow, the 1st, I'm starting a podcast. So you'll be able to catch me and my soil mate, Ryan, and we're going to talk about like our spiritual journeys, the spiritual shit, like life, real life, our adventures before and after the H, you know, like that's where we're at. Um, I also am going to be doing a live sale. I have a lot of discounted candles and things of the inventory that I want to get out as well. So I will set times for that. Those will all be taking place on Facebook or YouTube. All right. What is our next sign guys? Leo's all done. Who? Cappies. Cappies, oh, you want to give your heart, but you don't feel like you are good or easy to love. We've already done Cancers. I am going to Capricorns. Capricorns. And if you like me, keep sending those hearts. I believe if I get 10K, I go on FYP, which would be freaking awesome. Got to make this grow because I love it so much. I really do. I'm really like all over the place today, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm doing something completely different. I usually don't, I don't know, show the boobs or the twos, but I don't know why I keep on talking. Sorry, my bad. I'm scattered. I'm scatterbrained. Wonder why. Wonder why, Cappies. Are we all scattered? Holy crap. Scattered and not confident, Cappies. What is going on with you guys? Oh, my God. All right, Cappies. So, all right, you walking away. You're walking away from something. I feel like this has to do with a job. This is, this is career. This is career is what I'm definitely feeling. Are you Capricorn? So there is a situation you could be walking away from your career or a job that no longer serves you. Um, I feel like there has been a situation when involving this job or career where you've put in a lot of work and other people are reaping the benefits for it, actually. Like, you're that person that does the OT. You're the one who fixes the projects. You're the one who also goes above and beyond. I even feel in this situation, there has been a position that you have applied for more than once. And I feel like this week is going to be a result and is not going to be in your favor. I'm just going to call it what it is because there is somebody who's kind of talking or has there's favoritism I'll just call it what it is I feel like there is such a high level of favoritism in this situation when it comes to bosses and things of that nature like there's something going on with that oh because you're calling it out you're calling it out and you're like you know what I'm done I am no longer going to apply this I'm going to do my job go home and this and that but I do feel like if you decide to walk away from this situation if you do not want to place boundaries or have a manager meeting because I know some of us feel very stuck and stagnant you're still going to be looking elsewhere regardless um I feel an opportunity could actually fall in your lap by the end of summer but this week it is about going you know what I'm no longer going to put my energy into this I'm done with the bullshit I'm done with the deceit I'm done with dealing with the freaking page 
You know, what I thought was a great opportunity turned out to be a motherfucking fish in a cup. And that motherfucker ain't got no filter. Okay? So that's rotting. It's a rotting motherfucking fish. Like, you just don't want that. You don't want that vibe. You're done. You've put in all this hard work and effort. And I feel like with this new opportunity, there's going to be a walking away. Regardless of if it's now, later, or tomorrow. But... You're going to be walking away from this situation and you're not going to be putting your energy so much into it as you know. Nope. And I feel like this opportunity career wise or financial wise is actually going to be unexpected. Um, It's going to be something that you might not be super knowledgeable in or comfortable in doing. You're just like, oh, I'm not sure if I hold it, if I'm able to have like if I have that, you know what I'm saying? And like you do, you do. You have that. You have all the things. It's all about letting the motivation get you. Do it. If you feel like you learn, learn. There is nothing wrong with learning and finding this new opportunity and allowing these things to come into place because this immature energy ain't going to go away at your previous position. It's not. You had that opportunity. The wheel of fortune's in your favor. It's about going. Going. That's all I keep on hearing from spirit. Um. Also... King of Cups is about motivation for me. And if there's something going on with love or a situation, um, I got the star card, which to me is about collecting the wish fulfillment, manifesting. So if you ain't talking to somebody, I do feel like there could be somebody that you are talking to. Or I feel like if this is a friends with benefits situation, I'll just be honest with you, it might lead to a little bit of heartbreak, a little bit. There might be somebody who gets a little bit of attached emotions and the other one just is not on that thing. But if there is no friends with benefits, I honestly feel like you manifest in the person that you want. I keep on hearing eight for you guys. So it could be the eight month, it could be in eight weeks, it could be in eight days. But there is something resonating with eight in love, okay? So, just keep manifesting the person that you want. I don't feel like Prince Charming or Harmon or Susie Doozy, Roozy, I don't give a fuck who. Turtle. I don't I don't care. Like, but I feel like they're not going to be, like, walking in this week and going, oh my gosh, I need you. Because I just, I'm just not feeling it. But I do feel like career-wise, there's going to be change. I feel like friends with benefits definitely could turn into a uh, situation if you are not careful and put too much into it. All right. You guys actually don't have a horrible spread. There's a lot of opportunity and there's a lot of growth that could come from the energy of this week. As long as you don't keep on putting your energy into it. it is, I'm telling you, that's what I keep hearing. Keep hearing for you guys. Yes, I do, Cappies. Oh, look at that. Playful. You got playful. Cancer, I have already done. So playful. Says, my child, life is not always so serious. Choosing the symbol means it's time to lighten up and be playful. It says, no matter what you are asking about, this is the time to have a sense of humor. Smile and go do something fun. Life has a way of answering all your questions. Which I agree, Cappies. I agree. That is totally for you. That is totally for you. All right, guys. Let's drop the sign. And everybody who is popping in, hi, I'm Twitch or Tara. You can follow me here on TikTok, Tube, or the book. All the links are in bio, but I am not going to sit here and talk about myself because I'm actually really shy. All right, let's see who we are rocking next. Virgos. Virgos. Where are my Virgos at? And if you guys could, like, share me out. Send me those hearts. Like, I've never been on an FYP. I've never gotten 10,000 likes. So that's like my new goal. Because I love sharing this. I do these for free. I do individual reads for free. And I do the horoscope for free every week. Privates are available at a charge. But I am very freaking reasonable. I charge 30 bucks for $30. And I usually run specials. All right, we are on, why am I, oh, Virgos. Virgos, sorry guys. Virgios. Virgos, 
Virgos. Okay. Watch your pentacles. Pentacles, 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 Virgo. Because I feel like there's a situation that could really be hindered right now. I feel like there's been some deceit in the past that has popped up and you're, long, you're releasing that as far as finances. Like, all right, I wasn't able to, but now I got to. Which is going to help you at the beginning of this week. Those pentacles are going to be there for you at the beginning of this week. But I feel like the lesson in this for this week, Virgos, is don't overspend. I mean, when I say that there's pentacles, out of the seven cards, you got four pentacles. Okay? And they ain't all in the upright. So, pay attention to your finances. Do not overspend is a huge lesson that I'm hearing this week. Because if so, this could kind of push you back in the coming months. I feel like there's a situation also dealing with love that's creating a lot of anxiety. And kind of putting this added pressure onto you on top of the finances, okay? Because each one, there's defensiveness. There's this, like, I feel like this very combative nature. And I also feel like it's a mindset as well. Um... Because when I step into your guys' energy, Virgos, and I'm sorry if I'm not looking at myself, I'm trying to be confident in me, so I'm not used to looking at myself. But, see, and Virgos, I feel like that's kind of your energy, too. You're kind of like, where where am I going? What am I going to do? Because I usually don't say shit like that. So, if you guys are feeling a little unconfident, like, it's okay. We got to step outside the box. There's something going on this week. I'm actually not, be I'm not transgender, but that's okay. So, um, I do feel though that this week, Virgos, there's a lot of anxieties in a lot of different areas. I feel like there's a huge career shift. Again, watch your pinnacles because it shows that there's a new beginning, but there's this self-doubt. There is this self-doubt of just, am I going to be able to? Is this going to be fast enough? When is this going to come into fruition? Am I knowledgeable enough? Virgos, the fuck? Yes, yes. You are capable. Yes, this is a new beginning. Yes, it's scary. Yes, are you going to be broke? Probably. Probably this week, yeah. If, if you don't, just pay attention. Pay attention to the money. And just keep that motivation going. If you're feeling stagnant by the end of the weekend, you know, on Sunday, just take that moment. Realign yourself. Take that breath and go do something productive. Go do something productive, whether it is... Working on your business, whether it is creating a list, whether it is cleaning your toilet, I don't give a fuck what it is. Be productive because I feel like in that moment, it's kind of going to spark something in you for this coming month. There's a lot of fruition and a lot of profit in Virgo for next month. A lot. Especially when it comes to rebalancing these finances. Like there is a golden opportunity right at your guys' doorstep. And I really feel like... It's going to come into fruition the beginning of this week. This is the starting energy of this week is what I'm feeling because it's telling you what is no longer serving is going to fall off, okay? Don't allow those things to sit there and keep in the mindset because it's going to stunt the motivation for the coming months and you can miss this golden opportunity if you sit too long in the shit, flat out. When it comes to relationships this week, Virgo, there is added anxieties, okay? I don't know if you feel like you're carrying the bear of the weight, but, man, you your world is upside down when it comes to relationships this week, Virgos. There is a, there, if you guys are together, shipped up, whatever it is, it, it is like talking to a dead horse. You ain't going to get no other motherfucking answer because a horse is dead and rotten. Because, you know what, I feel like in the last coming months, there's been a conversation that's been had. On more than one level with the people in your circle, especially dealing with interpersonal relationships. There's one who wants to add more macaroni and cheese to the plate, and the plate's already overflowing, and it ain't a good one. It is one of those cheap motherfucking paper plates that you get at the $1.25 store, thank you inflation, that you know that you need 32 of them. Just so that the fucking thing doesn't break. That's kind of where your life is. It's the plate. And you don't need that because you're a Dixie plate. That shit ain't going to bend. You've seen those commercials. Boop, boop, boop. You're heading in that direction. Golden opportunities ahead. This relationship. Stop having the same conversation. Wait for the actions to happen or take a step back and no longer just don't talk about it. Just don't. Because it's a repeat. And I feel like it's going to possibly keep you in that energy if you keep on repeating it. Yeah, because there ain't no union in this. There is not a balance when it comes to love this week at all, Virgos. And it's just like, I don't got time for this. 
I just, I, I just, I just don't got time for this. You're, you're, you're sending me hot dog water vibes, and I don't even feel like putting dinner away. I'll just leave your soggy ass dog in the water overnight. You can mush up, but I have shit to do. And that's really something that I feel for you, Virgos, this week. Really, really, really feel for you, Virgos. <laughs> somebody from your past who like fucked you up as well I don't know if this is an ex that's coming back or this situation just happened but they like totally mind fucked you be wary be careful of somebody from the past coming in and trying to sweet talk as well cause it ain't, it ain't about that they still on that bullshit they still on it your guys' oracle card this week is meditation okay so let's see where we're at. I mean, I kind of don't mind the book. How do you, what do you guys think? I don't know. What do you guys think in general about the life? Be still and listen to the silence of the pulsing energy as the life force inherit in all things. Sing a gentle song to your sweet ears. It says, in the darkest inky black night, I make my magic and weave into the world it is time for non no nication i totally fucked that word up my bad i have america education see i can't even talk fucking right do nothing and find quiet within your heart and wait all will be revealed when the time is right you're gonna get a lot of clarity coming up soon this golden opportunity is gonna open up a lot of clarity for you I feel like there's going to be a lot of transitions for you, Virgos, a lot in these coming months. What was, no longer will be. All right. That is what I have for my Virgos. Who else do we have here? Who else? I hope everybody is doing well. If you... <laughs> That I, whatever sign, oh, I keep on hearing Pisces. So, you know what? We're just going to go to Pisces. 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 I did do Cancer. Yes, I did. You can catch the replay over on the tube um, either tonight or tomorrow. It depends on how much time I'm able to. Because I'm going live tonight. I'm doing individual lives tonight. All right, Pisces. Ooh, Pisces. You guys are doing a lot of releasing of anxieties. You're stepping back into your creativeness. Holy crap, Pisces. This is not a bad week. Oh, my gosh. All right. So this is a week for you guys, Pisces, of transition. I feel like this has to do with a lot of the creative balances coming into play for you. You finally are realizing that you are the energy that makes that fucking locomotive go. Choo-choo. All right. If some of you guys are... I have done jummies. Yes, I have. If some of you Pisces are on a entrepreneurial level or self business, this week there's going to be an uptick. I feel like there's going to be an uptick, uptick in sales, and there's something involving that. Um, I don't know if you have a new product that's coming out, or there's a new like project that you guys are really contemplating. Even if it's home or hearth, there's something going on with Pisces and creating this this week. Man, is it going to come? into a beautiful mural by the end of the week for you guys because you know what it's not only just allowing those things to flow but it's allowing the things that no longer serve you to fall off like I feel like you're gonna go in this mindset of motivation and as you're working as you're progressing as you're doing all these things getting this creative flow that self-doubt that a lot of the Pisces are feeling these days because y'all have been balls to the wall going 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 there's something that is coming up in the later part of the summer, early fall, that is going to shift a lot of Pisces' these energies. There's going to be a lot of focus, whether it's a new home, a business, I'll even throw it out there, even though I don't like doing that, a baby, things of that nature. Like, there's going to be this huge transitional shift, and right now, you're in the process of a squirrel collecting nuts. Right before hibernation, it's going to come into fruition, Pisces. It's just allowing the things to flow to grow. 
Keep on doing those things. Allow that creator to flow. Justice is served. You got the sun. You got the sun this week. All right. That is wish fulfillment. That is that is the card to have. The warnings for the week. Those are the blessings for the week. The lessons for this week is about keeping your balance, Pisces. Okay, because there is somebody from your past that has caused you fucking grief that is trying to still throw your ass out a window onto some sores. I don't know if they're trying to sweet talk. I don't know if there's a situation involved where it's like, oh, but we need to talk about this. This is no, they are in your past. I feel like this is an ex. This isn't like a friend situation. This is a love situation. Somebody that just, mm -mm, okay. And they're going to try and come in and they're going to be like, but we need to talk. we got to make this work. And you're like, no, I'm not doing this. I am no longer going to allow those things to come into my life anymore. Like you burnt me once. I forgave you. You burnt me twice. I'm going to burn my own ass this time. I don't know who you are, what you're doing. I don't even have a bottle of water for you. You are an air plant and it's not going to come into fruition. So whatever sweet talk somebody in romance department it is not flying this week there is no union there is no regular communication of ha 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 no you're gonna shut that shit down Pisces you're shutting it down and you are gonna be focusing on all those rocks that you've been collecting this week because like I said late fall early summer yeah you walking away you're doing something so fucking different I love it love it this week Pisces Love it. You're going to bring a freshness to yourself, a creativeness. You're going to allow those things to flow. Ooh. Like, you know that you're bad. Like, and I like it. I really like the energy this week. I totally love the energy of the Pisces this week. All right. There was the blessing. The lesson is don't let that ex freaking get into your goat, man. Don't let the ex get into your goat. That is the lesson. We got the blessing. The overall energy is pretty damn fulfilled this week for you guys, Pisces. There's a lot of wish fulfillment that's coming into place. And I feel like there's even some uh, situation. And I feel like this has to do with home. When it comes to this, I'm totally feeling home and hearth, but like there's something going on in the home that you wish would be changed. It's going to, okay. I feel like this project, you're actually going to do it yourself. This is going to be a DIY project and the X's are an X's. All right. You got wishing for your Oracle card for the week, Pisces. It says choosing this symbol means that you are at a wonderful juncture in your life where imagination and preparation can align with the web of power. Saying, my dear one, I, I hear your prayers, I know your heart, and I know what is for your highest good. Dreams do come true. Make sure your dream serves your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful what you wish for. Remember the coins tossed in a wishing well. For every wish is a price to be paid. Put it in the bill. You got this. Keep the motivation going. You guys should be so proud of yourselves. Honestly. So proud of yourselves. All right. Hey, can one of my mods um, get the scammer? We do wish you well. It's funny. You can't scam somebody for free. All right. That's what I have for you guys, Pisces. Keep on rocking it. All right. Did I see... Scorpios, thank you, cats. Thank you, cat. You're awesome. And I appreciate you. All right. Did I say Scorpios? I think I said Scorpios. Scorpios. I have done Sagittarius. So the ones that I have left is Libra, Scorpios. Aquariuses, Aries, and Tauruses. So, all right. Scorpios. What is the lesson and blessings for Scorpios? Lessons and blessings for Scorpios. All right, Scorpios. Whew. 
when I step into your energy, Scorpies, I am worn out. I am emotionally worn out is the energy that I am instantly feeling. I am emotionally worn. You have been stretched very thin these past couple weeks. And you've been questioning if you are capable. What is the lessons and blessings this week? This was a lesson week for you guys. It was about not repeating the patterns for you guys, Scorpios. Because there's a new beginning. But it's allowing yourself to believe that you are capable. And that you do hold all the freaking tools to ascend. Okay? But there needs to be this mindset change, okay, is something that I'm totally feeling like there's this mindset change that needs to happen for you, Scorpies. Because right now, you're not feeling like you're even up to par as creating a stability if you guys have children or a home of your own or you are, I just heard, caregiver. So I feel for a lot of you Scorpios that are in this caregiving position, and it doesn't always mean kids, that you're so overwhelmed and you feel like you're not doing enough. You're doing everything that you guys can. There's been some hindrances as far as things out of your control. Um, I feel like there's paperwork involved in some of these hindrances. I'm totally not going to BS it. I usually don't do legal or anything like that. But I do. I really feel like there's paperwork this week, Scorpios, that you need to pay attention to. There's something coming in the mail, email, whatever else that is going to help with the progression of your ascension over the coming months. But this week is about your stability. So pay attention to the mail. Pay attention to emails. Like I said, I feel for some of you guys, if you're in this position of a home or this or that or paperwork's needed, pay attention because there, it's there's a notification coming. I, I'm totally serious. Um, but there is new beginnings. It's about allowing your mindset to change because right now this Hierophant, this was a lesson week for you guys. I feel like there was a situation and I, I'm just going to call it what it is. It has to do with love and it has to do with your stability. That is a repeated pattern that keeps on coming in. Okay. And I also feel like it has to do with a mindset as well because it's kind of like when the shoe drops, you're like, there it is. There it is. Yes, I do do my replays over on my tube. Um, it's like, oh, see, there, there, there it is. That see, that's why I react this way. This is why I do this. This is why I do that. And you know, I really feel like for Scorpios this week, it's really about changing that mindset because you know what? This individual in this situation, they want union. They want to be able to have this union. And I feel like this is a balancing of self as well. You're tired of feeling in that scattered energy, Scorpios. You are the star. You have to manifest the things that you want. And just manifestation also means motivation. I feel for like a lot of you, you do a lot of this talking these past couple weeks, but not a lot of walking. Or if there has been walking, a heart hasn't been into it. It's been a very like, I'm going, I'm doing, and this is what I'm doing because I have to do it because I have to keep going. But there's no compassion of self into it and there's no compassion of the situation. Shit, even washing dishes can be fun if you just make it to be like, do, do, do. this is what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to do it. I just need to flow. Okay, but for Scorpius this week, I feel like you need to do more than flowing. You need to put in the motivation. If you don't want to be in the stagnant energy, you need to be in this motivation because you have all the opportunities. You are the Knight of Pentacles. For me, the Knight of Pentacles is the one who wants to truly be a king because he's holding all the cards. It's just about getting there. It's about getting out of that mindset of, well, I'm only a knight. I'm always going to be a knight. And a knight is what I will be forever. Eh, no, no, you won't. You got the fucking keys to be the king. Okay? Allow those doors to open. I feel like there's, even in this whole situation, I feel like you really could lean on your closest friends. Even the ones that you feel are kind of outside of the group, I feel like you're going to have a really heartfelt and meaningful conversation, which is going to help with the motivation for you guys over the weekend. Okay? So, those are the lessons that I got for you. The blessings this week is that it is a learning week. There is going to be this movement out of the stagnant energy, but you need to open up to your friends or the people that you trust. Confidant, um, shadow work is also needed because Scorpies, you need that balance. You need that balance, Scorpies. You are just, oh my God, you need a rebalance. So do some shadow work. 
is a big one that I hear right now for the lesson. Which is going to open up the door to the blessing. But you need to open up those doors, Scorpios. You need to. And as far as this relationship, there is a chance for a new beginning. But it's going to take a non-repeated pattern. It's going to take a change of mindset. And it's going to take the allowance of that you actually believe in the situation and self. Okay? Which is crazy because the card that came out is self-worth. You guys received the self-worth oracle card this week. It says, when you draw this symbol, you are asked to consider what value do you place on yourself in your life? It says, do you believe in yourself or do you, or do you behave in a way that tells others that you are not worthy? Act with self-respect no matter the circumstances they come from. Self-worth, self-esteem means that you will not allow yourself to lead into a compromising situation. Love yourself. For I, your guides, love you dearly. Okay. All right. Let's drop a sign. That was for my Scorpies. That was for my Scorpies. Tauruses. T -t 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 Tauruses. I only got a couple more left, so if you like me, follow me. If you like me more, you can catch the replay and subscribe to my YouTube and my fake book. So, it's really up to you. If you don't like me, keep scrolling or say hi. Just don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. Be an appreciator. Like, flat the fuck out. I'm kind of over the scammy scammers. Like, ooh. I'm gooky. Whatever. But for real. Oh, Tauruses, you just want union. You are trying so hard to stay strong. There is a situation that has put you in a mode. It's dealing with the immature energy. You felt like there's movement. There's try At the beginning of the week, I felt like there was a lot of union of self. There was a lot of feeling like there was movement forward. There was things that were holding the cards in this situation. Like, it was very... I've already done Sagittarius. It, it was very fulfilling. And it was starting to go into a very positive direction. Okay? By the end of the week... Mm, you throw yourself back into hermit mode. There is a walking away or putting up a blockage. There is a sun in reverse. Okay? Because I feel like there could have been a situation. <clears throat> there is no talking either. Lack of communication. Or something's going to be said that's going to kind of throw you off kilter. And you want to go into this hermit mode. You're ready to take a step back into this situation. Because you know what? You're like, well, I thought it was this. But then all of a sudden it had to flip script. It literally did a 180. And I feel like it's because a person, place, or thing, honestly, is being forceful about it, but not in a very, like, dick way. You know what I mean? Kind of like, oh, well, are we getting back together or are we doing this? And you're like, listen, I'm just trying to flow. I, I got so many things on my plate. I'm about to go into this huge transition. I'm healing past trauma as well. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to have this conversation, you know, but I'm enjoying our time. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm trying to go with the flow. I'm trying to find my balance of self again, but I'm not, I don't want to have this conversation. And I feel like this person is going to be like, well, fine then. Fine. We won't go into union then. And I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to go pout because I don't feel like I have anything anyways. And I'm so sad. And why would you do a gas lighter? Like a little bit of that kind of like. Oh, but why? No. The reason is, is because I'm healing on myself. I'm about to do a huge life transition and I need to do this for me. Um, I feel like some of you guys are also dealing with the home improvement. Hold off on it. Oh my God. Hold off on the home improvement. It is not going to come into what it was meant to come in. Honestly, I even feel to a point with the home improvement, it's going to cost more money than expected. Is a big, big feeling that I am getting from spirit. Like, don't go forward on this home project 
or the situation because you've gotten two non-union cards. I ain't going to create this. Like, oh, Jesus. And things are flying. Flying away. Maybe that's your energy you're running. Cause, and the star in reverse. So, yeah, this is not going to serve your purpose. I'm sorry. This is not going to serve you guys this week. This situation, you need to possibly tell this person, place, or thing. I ain't trying to cause conflict, but I'm laying down the rules. This is what it is. Don't ask about this. Don't. No. No. Gosh, I heard that loud and clear. No. Okay? Don't deal with the immature energy. Keep on healing on yourself. I am so sorry that at the end of the weekend, it doesn't look like it's much thing. You're going to go into this hermit mode, and, and, and you ain't going to feel that great energetically. There might be a situation where y'all could be like, whoo, like y'all talked on Friday, but then you might not talk for a couple days next week. Just kind of doing your own thing, going into that hermit mode, going back into that hermit mode and figuring out what the hell is actually worth your time and worth the energy because you have spread your guys' self so thin, Taurus, this is so thin over the last like couple months. I feel financially it's been strenuous, mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually. Like there has been so much strain and you're just tired. And I feel like there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is this is the this is the le this is the lesson and blessing. I'm telling you, this is a blessing. Don't that. Mm -mm. No, 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 mm -mm. Tough Teddy said the kitty, but the milk's still good. Like, no, no, no. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. This is. Just stay out. Just, just no. You're gonna go back into the hermit mode. I really feel like that's gonna happen. The situation. I feel like this person could, be, like I said, yeah. Don't, 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 don't let this happen. What I say? Lust. Oh, look at that. I mean, shoot. All right. So we got lust. Thank you, sissy. All right. And if you guys like my moderators, follow them. They're awesome people. Cat and Cat and Sasa and like, for real. They're awesome. Awesome. Okay, you got lust. My dear one, when the symbol of lust has come before you, beware that when you toy with this energy, you may be consumed by it. There is a fine balance between desire that is pure and obsession that arises in this insatiable throw of desire. Be careful that your desire remains good and that your wanting doesn't cause hurt to yourself or another. Move cautiously. Hermit, just hermit yourself. Oh, Tauruses, I just giggled so bad. I don't even know why. I don't know why. All right, guys. All right. Taurus, this is one, two, three. All right, we got Libra, Aquariuses, and Aries left. I love you too. I love you too. Thank you guys for all joining me. We are almost done. I'm feeling Libras. Libras. Balance of the scales, Libras. Balance of the scales, Libra. Hey, Sasa, I'm going live tonight. So if the babies are down, can you moderate for me? Could you moderate for me? Because I am going to do individuals. And then this week, I'm going to do a book of answers live as well. Um, I think I'm also going to do uh, 9.30. Between 9 and 9.30. All right, Libras, what do we have for my Libras? Libras. Oh, love, Libras. You want some love. You are, you got somebody on your fucking mind from the past. Oh, my God. 
or a situation, you want this research. Oh my God. Lord. Listen to me, Lord. All right. Y'all got love on the mind, Libras. There is something that is just like, I want this to come into union. I am lusting over this person. Is this, is this meant for me? I've been single or I've been in a situation with this person and it's been stagnant. There's a rebirth, Libras. I just did Tauruses. There is a rebirth in this situation. Okay? Like a complete rebirth. There's... There's a cycle that's going to allow. I feel like this, at the beginning of this week, there was that feeling of stagnant energy. There was like, man, is this really going to work? Or do Are we at this balance? Can we communicate again? Yes, you can. Not only is there going to be a balance, but it is going to allow those things to come into fruition. I already did do Sagittarius's, yes. So, I do. I feel like there is going to be this balance and this resurgence. You're acting, you know, I feel like for some of you Libras, you took a step back and you really contemplated this love situation. All right. Because this is about balance, Libras. A lot of y'all have not been feeling this. And I do feel like even if y'all have been in this relation, in a relationship, there's been this stagnant energy and you're really been contemplating if it's worth, if the juice is worth the squeeze. And I do feel like this week there's going to be a breakthrough in communication that is going to help rebalance and kind of give a different perspective to the situation of this other person. Because I do feel like over the past couple weeks, Libras, there's been a lot of miscommunication, a lot of the feeling of like sideways comments, you know, just things of that nature where it's kind of like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Like, where am I going to go? All right. But you have the world. You have the world at your fingertips. It's all about finding that balance again for yourself. And I feel like it's a balance for you too because you've been really tired, Libras. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I step into your energy, it's just because y'all have been going and going and going and going and going. Like, on a physical level. Whether it's work, but then when you get off of work, you're doing A, B, C, and D. And then as soon as you go to sleep, you can't sleep for two, three hours because you got a motherfucking cat that jumped on your belly. Or, you know, the dog pissed. Or it, it just seems to be one thing after another after another for you Libras, okay? It's going to come back into balance. There is going to be that resurgence and that rebirth into, like, you coming back into union of self. The schedule is going to start coming a little bit balanced again because you're going to step back into that energy. All right, that Queen of Cups energy. There's going to be a situation I feel at work, too, that's going to create that balance, too. It's going to come back into fruition because there's been, like, a lot of this going on. As far as your career and work, like people are doing their shit. Pe I honestly feel like this has to do with a couple different things that are not aligning as far as career. There's been a lot of, well, I want this done. Well, I want that done. But we can't do this. But I'm the only one that does this. And it's all falling on your lap. And it's been like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I No, I'm stepping back into this. I'm getting union. That's going to balance back out by the end of the weekend. All right. Especially when coming to the career. As far as the love life, it is going to balance back out. But it's going to take you to just go with the flow, Libras. Allow those things to happen. Pentacles are going to come back out. And I feel like you're going to walk away from an ego situation. As far as like an outlook is what I'm really feeling. I feel like a new perspective is going to be at your feet over the weekend. We're going to be like, man, I really don't want to do that anymore. I'm at that mindset. And there's going to be a reconnection in the love department. You're going to remember why, why it was meant, why it was at that point of balance, why that person gave you butterflies this is a big thing. For you singles, I feel like you could actually run into somebody where you're like, they just make you happy. They just instantly excite you, even if it's for a moment. Even some seasons, no matter how short, are truly the most beautiful things that somebody can possess in the human experience. I have had some of the most beautiful seasons that have literally lasted a lifetime of love. And just looking back and seeing those memories, and I feel like that opportunity is coming for you guys this week, Libras. Stay the fuck out of your head, though. Don't let the devil energy get the best of you. 
allow it to not get the best of you. You are capable. You are not this devil energy. Don't, don't step into that. Because I don't feel like that has to do with addiction or anything else. I really, really don't, Libras. I feel like that's an ego. Or like, well, I don't know if I'm enough. And I'm, I'm addicted to being alone. Or I'm addicted to a certain mindset. And you know what? I don't think that's going to happen this week. I think somebody might knock you on your little feet this week, Libras. Work's going to balance out. Somebody might make you smitten. You're going to have a moment. All right. I forgot to almost do the Oracle card. All right, Libras. What is the energy? So you got lessons, blessings, career, and love this week. Oh, thank you guys so much for all the likes and roses. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I've actually done Virgo. You can catch a replay on my tube. The link is in my bio. I've done Libra, um, which I should probably, where the hell is my pen? Oh, there you are. All right. I only got two signs left. So if you are not Aquarius or Aries on any of your signs, you know, your Mercury, your rising, your ascending, or your sun. I don't know why I said Mercury. That's weird. All right. Let me get the Oracle card for Libra. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm like, I got such shitty allergies. <laughs> the moon. You guys received the moon card. All right. It says, this is a sign that you must trust your gut. Your instincts and intuition will lead the way through the darkness. When you choose this symbol... It's to know that you that you need to know the truth. Sometimes people are going to say one thing and they're going to mean another. But you know what? It's all about revealing. The moon is also about cycles too. Allowing cycles to go. I mean, everybody's like, oh, the moon's deceit. It's illusionist, isn't it? Even the moon finds light in darkness. The moon changes. The moon phases. The moon does many different beautiful things other than just be an illusion. It's always there. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. All right. Aquarius, this is. We're going to go to Aquarius, and then we are going to end it with Aries. All right. If you did not hear those signs, you can watch my replay over on YouTube. I will have everything timestamped as well. Okay. Should be up this evening. Should be up this evening. All right. I said Aquarius, this is. All right, Aquarius, is. Holy crap. You guys are on a huge transition this week. Holy shit. And it's fast. It is fast this week, Aquarius, is. I feel like there's even a situation where somebody's gotten a little bit of the karma. Because you need, it's all about balancing. You got the tower this week coming, which means a new foundation. Holy crap, I'm out of breath, Aquarius. Is, like, something's going to knock the wind out your gut. Like, so be prepared. Be prepared. I don't know why I am getting that feeling, but I instantly got a feeling of sadness as well. So be prepared for a sudden change this week. All right, something that maybe could have created some stability, but it's just there's something going on this week to be wary of. This is the lesson. This is the lesson this week. Just be careful. It's going to be a fast-moving energy that comes in. There's going to be a defensive energy. Um, I also feel like there's going to be the veil of allowing whatever has been an illusion is going to come to the forefront. And I feel like this really has to do with a person more than a particular like like a career or anything else i really feel like this has to do with a very close person or an individual in your circle okay because you're gonna find this dissolution and you're gonna kind of call them out and it's gonna be like you know i'm not doing this and there is no opportunity for a new beginning because i feel like this person's gonna tr try and cut off communication you're gonna be like no we ain't doing that. I We need to have this conversation because regardless if we stay friends or not, if this is the way the situation is, 
this needs to happen. This conversation needs to happen whether I'm flowing or going. Because I'm not doing this with you and you ain't going to be able to come back into the circle once you leave. Okay? It's a big thing that I hear, feel. Because you are trying to manifest the positive as much as you can this week, Aquarius sisters. There is a lot that is going on. There's a lot of shifting. And I feel like you guys are getting winded. I don't know why I keep on feeling so out of breath for you guys this week, Aquarius. Is so out of breath. Like, you're running, but you're not, you're not able to have the endurance. Perfect word. Thank you, Spirit. Endurance for all of this going on. You don't feel like you hold all the cups, but things are just going faster and faster and faster for you this week. And I honestly feel like this week for a lot of you Aquarius sisters, it's a blur. It's a blur. You feel like your world is about to fucking turn upside down if you do not keep moving. Remember that, okay, this is gonna tell my age. I feel very Energizer Bunny-ish. You know, you remember those commercials where you see the bunny and it just keeps on going and going and going and then they use the off-brand batteries and it's like, I don't Like, that's literally what I feel in your guys' energy. It's just like, what is going on? How do I feel? Because you're like, I'm not doing this. I want to walk away and I am just going to do this. I'm not swallowing the sword. I'm not swallowing the sword. You ain't going to cut me up inside, but I need to get the hell out of this energy because it's just throwing me sideways. And I am just, this is not cool. This is not cool. You're going to feel off balance this week, Aquarius. This is. And I feel so bad because I'm trying to like see if there's a blessing in all of this. And the blessing is that you are going to be able to manifest the shit out of what you don't want this week. This is the week of like, I am done. And now I am moving on from here. I am moving on from here because you're releasing that negative ass energy. By the end of the weekend, you're going to release it and you're just going to be like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm redirecting myself. What has been done has been done. But I'll tell you what, I am going to recharge myself. I really feel for a lot of you Aquariuses, you better just, it's Twitch's t -Tarot. The link's in the bio. Um, but you are just, I really feel like you guys ain't even going to do much this weekend. I'll be honest with you. You might grab your favorite DoorDash food and sit, watch Netflix, Stranger Things season four is on guys. Hello. But you know, I really feel like you guys are going to do that and it's going to give you your balance back. It is going to allow you to rebalance this week. Take a step back. If somebody asks you to go out and you ain't feeling it, don't. Don't. If you want to sit at home and watch Netflix, do it because your body and spirit is saying, I need to take a break. It is time to take the break, okay? My prayer says this because, whew. Whew. Winded. I'm sorry. I, I probably sound like I'm like out of breath and... Holy crap, but I really am. Like, that energy was intense, and it made me tired. So take a step back. Rest and relax. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Because by the weekend, this energy is not going to be as blurry. But this week, holy crap, does the energies got you everywhere. You are being pulled. You are being pulled. You guys got oath. For your oracle card for the week, okay? I have never received that card, so that is actually a pretty darn cool card. So let's see what Oath says for you, Aquarius. This is, this is. It says, My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for Oath. This is the symbol for all promises and is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. So... If you made a promise to yourself, and I'm sorry to say, if you made a promise to yourself that you're just going to take a break, do it. Do it for yourself. If you made a promise to yourself to get this situation done and take a step back, that's what you need to do. Just take a step back. Because, man, I'm tired. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose a symbol, maybe it's time to look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers? Have you done all of those things? Has somebody promised you something and it's all about the boogie bullshit? Like... But keep the promise to yourself. At the end of the day, it's about your light and your heart. You can only control what happens in your chapters to a certain point. But I feel like this week, you just need to take a step back. Promise yourself that you're going to chill the fuck out. Whew. Whew. I 
sound ridiculous, but it's the truth. Take, promise to chill the fuck out. All right, Aries. Aries is my last. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries. Aries, you're missing somebody from your past. Even though this person created conflict, they were your person. I feel like this has to do with your flame or your soul, a soul connection. You're feeling so out of line. Aries, your heart space is so on a level this week. And you just want to rebalance. You just want to rebalance. But there was conflict at the beginning of the week, Aries. And I really feel like this has to do with your heart space. I don't feel like this has to do with career, but this has to do with your heart space and somebody from the past. There could have been a conversation where it could have felt like there have been some sparked up situations and you were really hopeful and things were going on. This person might have even, even came in and promised the world, but then ended up being on some bullshit. So I feel like there's going to be a little bit of deterrent and some defensiveness by the end of the week or weekend. So, because this energy is good all the way till next Wednesday. So, I do. I feel like there is just this situation that's created a lot of conflict for you. And it's really made you imbalance in the head, heart, and soul. And I feel like it also has to do with your pentacles this week, Aquarius. Is. So, be mindful of your pentacles this week. That is the blessing and lesson this week. Be mindful of your pentacles. You're going to feel really stagnant by the weekend. I feel like there's even going to be some creative blockages, but this person has you so wrapped up in your head and heart space. There's really not much that you can focus on right now is what I'm feeling. And you guys are trying like seriously, Aries, you guys are trying to find this balance and find this thing. But there is just blockages of the head and heart. There's blockages of creativeness. There's blockages of conflict. There's blockages of Feeling that confidence that you know that you possess. You carry those confidences. I feel like this is a very big blessing lesson of the week of knowing your own and holding your own. Okay? Don't let this person... Yeah, you're going to need the strength. Don't let this person come in and give you some bullshit-ass excuse for why they are the way that they are in your past. Or if it's only mushy-gushy and then they dip out, then you know. You know, flat the fuck out that that was exactly what it was. You were a stupid leave and you were meant to blow the fuck out of my life. You are not a branch that I can trust for a little bit and then, you know, see what happens. And you fucking ain't a root. So, with this individual and this person, don't put all your eggs in that basket. Because it could really create some balances for you. And you know what? They still on that bullshit. They don't want to grow yet. You've been doing a lot of this, Aries. And I feel like this person is trying to make you go back down to their level because it's easier. They're not ready or at that point where they want to grow. So, I do feel like the, if you are in a relationship, there could be a very serious conversation about possibly not being together in a long-term commitment, honestly. Um, because of the communication, I feel like that's a big thing for you guys. Love is just on the forefront for you guys, Aries. Love is on the... Okay. Yeah. It's going to create a lot of imbalance. Just don't allow those things to supersede and go into next week's energy. Because it's saying, like, you just need to grow. It's, it's not even about you needing to grow. You just need to allow yourself to feel that because as soon as it's done, that's what it is. It's going to be done. This person or situation is not going to stay for long. It's going to go in as quick as it came out. Like, eh, see, I said that backwards, but you knew what the hell I meant. See? Because you're, you're flabbergasted. You're hurt. Pay attention. Be honest with yourself is also what I'm hearing, and I love the oracle card for you, but honesty, honesty is the oracle card for you guys this week, I'm sorry, I wish that I could give you guys, like, a much more, like, yeah, you're gonna be, by next week, you're gonna go into this energy, this is kind of a lingering energy, there's a lot of getting in your head, and a lot of getting into your heart space this week, Aries, there's a lot of trying to find out who you are, and what this past situation that has came up, like, is worth it. Is the juice really worth the squeeze? 
and because you're gonna see flat out like your heart might tell you something but your gut is telling you another and i honestly feel like you should listen to your intuition because sometimes endorphins chemicals we all fall in love there's a huge thing about falling in love and having chemicals and i feel like this person makes you feel that like that different feeling do i feel like it's on a super i mean it could be a twin flame it could be a soul connection from your past that did that totally ripped your freaking heart out they could be coming back for a short conversation but it is nothing more than just a conversation do not jump the gun on this one do not leap before you realize that the water's ice all right take it for what it is and don't get in your head about it is the lesson that i'm learning like that i'm feeling this week for you guys aries on like keep it a moment because it's not meant to be a lifetime all right it says my darling you have chosen the symbol of clarity and true communication it says now is the time to be absolutely honest with yourself about what you want and what you're thinking about what your motives and your real feelings are honesty is the only way to truly step into your power so It's unrequited, Lila. I love a girl, and does she love you too? It's unrequited. You're gonna see that person, and that possibly could be a what if, -er, which isn't a bad thing because sometimes what ifs make you grow on a totally different level. So, all right, Aries, that is what I had for you. So. We are at the end. I just wanted to make a couple announcements before I get off without totally going, <gasps> okay, being fucking weird because, you know, I'm Twitch and I'm weird, but I love it. I embrace my weirdness. So I have a few announcements that are coming to the Twitch's page here on the talk, the tube and the book. Okay. I'm going to be starting to do live sales of my products. Um, I create moon race oils. Tin cures. Um, and as far as oils, they're infusion oils. I go out there. I get the flowers. I do all of those things. I also create my own candles. I create my own tin cures. Um, I also create my own essential oil rollers. I actually have a chakra set that is for sale right now. I have one left. Um, so I'm going to be starting to do live sales. The other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be continuing the weekly horoscopes on Wednesdays. So it will, I don't know the exact times. It's really scattered for me. So I'm going, no matter what, on Wednesdays, I will be doing weekly horoscopes. Um, I also will be going live for free. Donations are truly appreciated and it does give you a guaranteed read, but it does not like mean that I, you know, I can also refund a donation as well. Um, but I am going to be going live up to four times a week. I do not know the days yet. I'm going to try and go at a pretty set schedule. I am a very scatterbrained person. I'm not going to BS it. So that's the goal. Also, June 1st is the first podcast for me and Ryan Hall. It is called To H and Back, and it's about to hell and back through our tarot journey. The things that have happened before, after, and the in-betweens. It is a going to be a very raw, unfiltered, no fucks given, awesome podcast. So, um, so that will be starting as well. Over here on the talk, I will continue to do the weekly horoscopes. The things that I do ask for for right now because I am growing and going through another awakening. If you get a reading on my other platforms, please leave some feedback. It helps so much. So, so much. Um, also, if you join Twitches Tetero and Beyond on Facebook and I see that you are in and everything else, um, you are automatically drawn into a reading for the month. Um, I also do Twitch boxes, which are individually based, like witch boxes, it has herbs, it has all this cool stuff that I've collected or created myself. Um, so you have the opportunity to win that as well. But other than that, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you all so much, so, so much for following me, liking me. I would rather have 
one follower a day than go viral and get a million because you know what I do this for you guys I love being able to communicate with you I love being able to be this TikTok home of twitches and just be a fam and be real and like I love the horoscopes I love doing the free reads for you guys and that's where I'm at so I hope to see you guys later I will be going live later here on TikTok at about 9 30 Eastern Standard Time um, for about an hour or more, depending, and I hope to see you guys there. All right, bye, guys, and I'll see you next week for the weekly horoscopes.